who cares, right? And all I'm gonna try to do is get through this, right? Is that how you wanna finish? Hi, my name is Devin. Today I own several multi-million dollar companies. We started with $5,000 in a credit card. I don't know the easy way, I only know the hard way. Hey everyone, welcome to the Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast, where I give straightforward advice to fuel the entrepreneur in all of us. I'm Devin Dickinson. Today I wanna to talk to you about finishing strong. And we're almost, uh, I think, at the end of the school year here um, for my kids and uh, my, my team. I think there's like, I don't know, like 40 some days, 50 days left. Not not many. So, But <laughs> it reminded me, I had this conversation last year and I realized sometimes I'm not always the best motivator, although I think I am. Um, but I got my kids together and it was like right after spring break was over and uh, I looked at the calendar and there was like, basically once spring break was done, there was no breaks. It was just like day after day after day after day until the end of the school year. And then they had finals and they're done. Right. And so I got my kids together with Sunday afternoons. And I said, listen, guys, I said, I just looked at the calendar. I said, there's like 43 days of school left. And I said, I just looked, there's no breaks. I said, we're all healthy. We don't have any vacations coming up. There's no three-day weekends. There's no holidays. I said, we just get to grind this thing out. I said, we're going to grind it out and we're going to finish strong because after that, we're going to take, you know, once we have our summer vacation, every year we go to Hawaii for a month. We do these other things, right? All of these amazing things for vacation. So I said, man, we're just going to grind it out. Like no break, no nothing. I'm like, let's go. You guys ready? And then I looked at them. They were all like, like, are you serious, dad? Like, you think that's a motivational speech? Well, I knew in my head what I was trying to get at, which is this finish strong mentality, right? And so now here we are like a year later and and, and uh, it wasn't too long ago. My kids threw this back in my face because I was like, I had had a long day and I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I, I said, like, when is summer? I'm like, I can't wait for Hawaii. I'm like, I am so burned out. And I said, and I said something like, yeah, we don't even have a break coming up. And they were like, come on, dad, cut it out, man. No break. Finish strong. We're almost there, man. You're going to earn your vacation. <laughs> I was like, one hand, I was like, you little punks. On the other hand, I was like, yeah, well played. <laughs> but, you know, I thought like that is like I was happy that they like that they remembered that 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 instilled in them this kind of finish strong mentality. And, and I, I bring this up because we are again at the end of the school year and you, we had a 6am practice with my team this morning. And that was a speech I gave them I'm like, guys, Hey, let's finish this school year strong. We have, you know, only this many practices left. I know it's 6am. I know everyone would prefer probably not to wake up, but once we're out here, we're happy. We did it. Let's finish this strong. Let's earn that vacation. And, you know, I have, you know, some time coming up where I'm going to be off with my family and we take several weeks off and we go and we travel, we tour the world. It's awesome. And I love it. I love everything about it. But I've had those times before when I feel like I didn't finish strong. And then that vacation came and I was like, well, I didn't really even earn this, right? Like you kind of feel guilty. And then there's other times when you're just grinding out, you have that to-do list and you're just checking stuff off every single day and you're finishing stuff. And you know that you want to like, man, I wish I could take my foot off the accelerator, but I can see that in an end line, right? And to finish with that type of mentality is so satisfying. And I think this is important and in every aspect, right? Because this means so many different things to so many different people. Sometimes we're finishing, you know, one career and we're about to change and go and work for somebody else. And so oftentimes I was having a conversation with the manager the other day. There are so very few people who leave their company like getting everything done and leaving the right way and finishing strong so that when they go to that next opportunity, they've left this in great shape and they're proud of the way they left. So it could be you're in school, right? And you're finishing up your last semester of college. You know, like, oh my gosh, I have senioritis. My grades don't even really matter. I figured out the grades don't really even matter in college. So who cares, right? And all I'm going to try to do is get through this, right? Is that how you want to finish? right? I'm a coach. And this last year, we analyzed how many games were won or lost 
in that last 10 minutes, I coach soccer, right? So in high school where I'm at, it's 40 minutes, halves, um, and then overtime is two 10 minutes. So you literally play whatever that is, uh, hour and 20, uh, what is that? 60, 120, 130, an hour and 40 minutes, an hour and 40 minutes in soccer in the last 10 minutes of the game like determine the victory and like 40% of the outcomes. And it's like how you finish, you can go and you can work that long. And if you don't finish strong, you lose the game. So whether it's sports, whether it's your career, whether it's your schooling, it could be anything, right? Like what if you're going on vacation and you leave the house a wreck, right? Like finish strong, get your stuff done. Don't leave, you know, things in the air. Don't leave, you know, loose ends, do things right. Right now, make that list of things that need to be completed and finish strong. Maybe you're coming up to the new year and you're like, you know what? I've had these things to do on my list for the entire year. Do you want to go into the new year with those things left undone and carrying them on into the new year? Finish strong. Be proud of the work that you've done. Be proud of what you've accomplished. And when you do have that time off, when you do have that vacation, it will make it that much sweeter. I'm Devin. This is a Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast. Let me encourage you to finish strong.